boy oh boy everybody look at this old nostalgic build I know I didn't finish any of the videos I believe I think I left off in like part four where I just got the front hubs and the rear hubs all assembled with the team chase uh, out of drives and the fat dad uh, Josh ass but in this video I'm gonna kind of pick up where I kind of left off hopefully if I kind of overlap some things, my apologies. Um, I picked up a few more parts while this was just sitting off to the side and I, you know, didn't really work on it. Um, I picked up a modified RC. They have their uh, center um, disc brakes that will allow you to put uh, boots. And then, like I said in the last video, I believe um, the Fat Dad front drive shaft for the low C5 was out of stock so I finally acquired that and uh, in this video I'm going to pull apart the transmission we'll get uh, the new disc brakes installed we'll get the front drive shaft installed and then I also kind of have to do some modifications if you run the modified RC um, center diff holder instead of the plastic one if you're going to run the MGM conversion kit you're gonna have to kind of ground away this little bit of the leg. Um, the screws that come up through the chassis and fit kind of don't really line up and it hits the back half of the modified RC, you know, center diff holder. You know, when I get it all apart, I'll show you which, what do you have to uh, dremel off or grind down. You know, I'll show you the before and after so that this um, conversion kit will work. Again, it's the MGM conversion kit and the modified RC. They don't meet together really nicely. If you still run the stock plastic one, there's no modification at all. It'll The MGM conversion kit will work perfectly fine. So I'm going to put this back off to the side. I think if you just wiggle the center diff out, it comes out. We'll put this here. We'll push this back to the back. Let's... Uh, kind of take this apart it's just the four screws on top and it'll just all kind of fall apart we'll get the dry shaft off the front also and we'll get these installed and then like I said I put an X where you kind of have to dremel away it's it protrudes a little bit they kind of you know came out to give more surface area but you kind of have to take it and just cut the corner off but Again, I'll show you the before and after, but let's get this disassembled and uh, let's go from there. All right, so this is um, a Vertigo locker that I'm running in this setup. So that's all it looks like. You see me build it and I believe one of the other parts set this off to the side. So this is the modified RC. Um, I'm going to read the label. It's their disc brakes and dust boots. It's uh, like I said, it's the discs and then it'll allow you to run um, center boots to keep all the junk out of the center dog bones. Let's get it open real quick. I give you a sticker. You have your two center boots. There's two here. I give you some instructions. Mm, I don't know how good that will show up, but those are kind of the, some of the instructions. And I give you three zip ties. Sides of the bag. Right, that's junk. All right, so this is what the disc looks like, and then it has a knurled end for the boot to kind of grip onto, as if it's over. But that's what they look like. To so get them installed, again, I'm gonna kind of leave this one off 
but I'll show you how to install them on the front one because again this is the one that we have to modify but simply when you have the modified RC center diff you just simply take out the bottom screw like that <laughs> the other disc will go flying I believe these are the MIP um, center brake discs I'm not sure don't quote me on that but these ones will just simply slide up into the calipers. Might have to adjust them, might have to open them up a little bit. All right, so I kind of pulled out the directions. Um, reading over it, if you're using the modified RC, again, the center diff mount, they're saying that you don't technically need to run this part, which is fine. But then installing this little shoulder screw that hold the brake calipers, they rub into the disc for some odd reason. Like the disc circumference needs to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to keep filling off camera with it and see what I come up with. Um, I'll turn the camera back on when I figure out what solution to uh, use. But kind of confusing on why the disc would hit the shoulder screw that holds the physical caliper. But again, I'm going to tinker off camera and see what I come up with. And then I'll, I'll cut the camera back on to show you what I came up with. Ran into a little bit of a problem. I was having some problems with these bolts that actually thread into um, the mount and that hold the caliper. This uh, bit of the shoulder was interfering with the caliper. But doing some digging on Mod's uh, research, uh, website, um, that's the part number. Um, I came up with these caliper bolts. Um, I'll try to get this up close, but as you can see, they have a little bit of a notch in them to help with clearance of the physical disc of the cal uh, you know, the braking system. Um, so let's uh, get it installed and see if that helps with my problems that I was running into. Um, all right, so they're the right, they're right size there. Um, let's thread them in and see what we come up with. I'll take off the disc. We'll get um, the other one pulled out. Alright, so like I was trying to explain before, uh, I found my old uh, center braces, my center transmission braces, and as you can see, this material here is a lot thinner, but if you look at the modified RC, uh, they gave a little bit more material, so that's what I was talking about. Um, like I said, the X, I'm going to have to just flatten this down a little bit. Again, it only is with the MGM conversion kit and the modified RC. If you're just going to run the stock original uh, center diff mounts, you don't have to do anything. But again, it has just a little bit more material here, has a wider footprint. Just have to file it down, but that's what it looks like beforehand. I'm going to cut the camera off. I'm going to file it down and then I'll cut the camera back on and show you exactly what it looks like. Alrighty, so I got it all dremeled down. I'll get you a little bit closer. As you can see, it's all shiny. And then obviously now it looks different. This is what it originally looked like. Now that that one side's flat, and then this side still has its bump. But like I said, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I just took a Dremel cutting wheel, and then uh, one of like, the little flap discs that uh, come with the kit and just polished it down, which it came out pretty good. I'm probably just gonna take a Sharpie and just color over it, but that's just me. So again, it wasn't too bad. Now that'll simply mount like that in the kit. We'll put this here and I'll pull this to me. But 
now you should be able to mount the motor mount again MGM kit with the modified RC and uh, I'll get the camera looking down so this way you can see what I'm talking about all right so I got it mocked up just the rear uh, section of the center diff and I got the MGM conversion kit mounted in I'm gonna pick it up and try to get it on camera what I was talking about hopefully you guys can see that so that's what is in question and why we shave it down um, that little gap down in there between the two parts they hit again now you can see there's a little bit of clearance in there hopefully that's coming through on camera but you can see the little air gap and that's all it takes to mount um, the modified RC with the original or not the original but with the MGM conversion kit for the low C5T. Alright guys, so I got you taking off the tripod to help better see what I was talking about. That little gap between the MGM conversion kit and the modified RC center diff uh, bracket. That little gap is all we needed for the two to work. Hopefully you can see that on camera, but by just shaving that little piece off helps for these two uh, manufacturers to be compatible and work. So again, hopefully you guys can see that, what I was talking about. You do have to shave down the modified RC so it will fit. Alrighty, so this is the front drive shaft from Fat Dad. Hopefully you guys can see that part number. Uh, they're pretty quick to build. They're not too bad. It's just uh, one center pin and one grub screw that goes through the front of the drive shaft. Same thing as like the back um, draw shaft. All right, so this is the center pin that goes through the draw shaft for the dog bone. It doesn't have a flat spot. I'm gonna grab out the Dremel again and just quickly put in a flat spot. All right, and with a little simple flat spot on the pin, you're gonna wanna put it in there. Again, get a little bit of Loctite on the grub screw. Make sure to line up where you put that flat spot and then just send in the little grub screw. All right, so if you've ever dealt with the low C um, dry shafts, you know that that clip is a giant pain in the you know what. To get it to pop out of the groove and to remove the pin is just so annoying, but it's just simply a, a metal ring that goes around the metal uh, collet, and then you just have to kind of push it off to the side and you can remove the pin. I'm going to slide off the boot, put the new boot onto the new dry shaft, and we'll get the new beefier Fat Dad dry shaft installed. Well, alrighty, just like that, I got the new Fat Dad dry shaft installed. Again, you just have to remove that one little clip, and then it just goes in like a normal dull bone dry shaft. I've slid the boot back over, and that's all it is to take to install the new Fat Dad front dry shaft.